doesn't matter what color your skin is, what nation you're from. All have sinned and fall short to the glory of God. And God has chosen himself a people from every tongue, tribe, and nation to redeem. And the curse of sin to bring back to himself through the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. A personal relationship with the living God forever to be in the love of God, to be saved from the power of sin and Satan through the Lord Jesus Christ and be one with our Creator. It is in Him that we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace. We are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. That means Christ came as a ransom, gave up the ghost, gave up His life, laid down His life for His friends, for all those who believe upon Him to save Him from sin and hell. He does not believe in Him as condemned already. He'd come back around like you can... He does not believe in him as condemned already because he's not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. The light has come into the world. But men love darkness rather than the light because their deeds are evil. Everyone practicing evil hates the light. Doesn't come to the light. This is deeds be reproved. you find right there. So God commands you today, wherever you are, rich and poor, young and old, low and high, what nation you're from, repent and believe the gospel. To come to Jesus, you must be born again to enter the kingdom of God. You must be born of God. You're born in Adam, born in sin, shaped but in iniquity. Man is abominable and filthy. He drinks in iniquity like water. And outside of the Lord Jesus, you're in great danger. No matter how great you feel, you're under judgment. Only Jesus can take away your sin. But this purpose, the Son of God, was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. The Lord Jesus Christ came in the world to save sinners. He died for sinners on the cross. He bled for sinners on the cross. He glorified God on the cross. Trust in Him. Come to Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Repent towards God today. There's a way that seems right to you. The end thereof are the ways of death. The Bible makes it clear there's no one good. There's not a just man on earth who does good and does not sin. That's why you need a Savior. There's not a just person on earth who does good and does not sin. God made man upright, but he sought out many devices. So you need to be saved from God himself. You're guilty before God. You've broken his law. You're condemned under the law. Look into the perfect law of liberty, the Ten Commandments in the Bible to see where you're at. I am the Lord your God of no other gods before me. you put everything before God all your life. Naturally, it's your condition. You can't do anything to change your condition. But if anyone be in Christ, is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. To know him is eternal life. You must be born from above, born in the Spirit of God. As many as received him, to them he gave the power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And that is the greatest news there ever was for a degenerate human being like you or I that is born by nature a child of wrath, fallen, depraved, sin-loving, and God-hating, morally corrupt, that can be brought out of that condition and made a righteous child of God based on the virtues and merits of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to come to Christ. God commands you to repent and believe in the gospel, for the holy God is angry with the wicked every day. So if you turn not, the Lord God will sharpen his sword. He bends his bone, he makes it ready, he also bears some instruments of death. He makes his arrows into fiery shafts. Folks, there's no other name under heaven given among men by which he must be saved. Each one will give an account of himself to God. And because God is holy, God demands a perfect obedience to his holy righteous statutes, commandments, and precepts, and judgments. You and I as human beings are profane. We are vile, and we violate all of those commandments, the statutes, and precepts, and judgments. So Christ came to fulfill them all to save sinners from eternal destruction in the lake of fire. Folks, you're headed on the path of destruction to burn in the devil's hell, and your only hope is coming to the cross of Christ in repentance and faith because Jesus did it all. The work is finished on the cross. Oh, God made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Folks, righteousness is imputed by faith alone. The just shall live by faith. The gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You're cursed of God apart from Christ. Cursed is everyone who does not continue in all things that are written in the book of the law to do them. One act of disobedience to the holy God damns the soul. 
Jesus always obeyed. Jesus lived. The impeccable Son of the living God, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. He made the atonement of the cross. Don't trust in your dead religions. Don't trust in your own works. You must come to Christ. He is finished. And the evidence you've come to Christ is you're a new creature that practices righteousness and walks in holiness and overcomes sin. Sin should not have dominion over the believer in Christ because you're not in the law. You're under the grace of God that teaches you to not deny. Deny ungodliness and worldly lusts and live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age. Come to Jesus. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. The Lord Jesus is the eternal Son of God, the Jesus of Scripture, not the Muslim Jesus, not the Roman Catholic Jesus, not the Mormon Jesus, not any Jesus of any religious system, but the eternal Son of God, the creator of the universe, for of Him and to Him and through Him are all things to whom belong the glory forever and ever. You come to Him and on no wise cast you out. And you come to Him in repentance. A broken and a contrite heart. A broken and contrite heart, these God does not despise. But He says the day of the Lord will come. As a thief of the night, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Red, yellow, black, and white, African, Caucasian, Asian, no matter what tongue, tribe, or nation you're from, you must be born again. You need the righteousness of Christ or you'll be destroyed in hellfire. Without that righteousness, without being washed in the blood of the Lamb, there's nothing but condemnation. You must come to Jesus. It's appointed for you once to die. But after this is the judgment. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Oh, friend, that each one may receive the things done in his body according to what he's done, whether good or evil. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a terrifying thing to fall in the hand of the living God. God is holy. God is not mocked when a man sows, he'll also reap. You sow to your flesh, you have the flesh reap corruption. You sow to the spirit, you have the spirit reap everlasting life. Now, again, folks, there's a way that seems right to a man, the end there are the ways of death. This is the gospel of your salvation. It is the gospel of the kingdom of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. For unto us a child is born. For unto us a son is given. And his name shall be called, and the government shall rest upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And of his government there shall be no end. He is the sovereign ruler of the universe. He's coming again to reign on the earth for a thousand years. He's coming again to judge the world in righteousness. Friends, it doesn't matter what, where you're from or what you've done. You need to be saved from God himself for all the evil you've done to a holy and a righteous God. And the only mediator is Jesus Christ, God the Son, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth, called upon his name. Out of the heart one believes unto righteousness. Out of the mouth confession is made unto salvation. But there is one God. And there is one mediator between God and men. The man Christ Jesus. Friends, he suffered once for sins, the just, for the unjust to bring us to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. God is spirit. Those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Folks, the spirit of God... Regenerates the nature and sets the captives free. He who the Son makes free shall be free indeed. Now, all the other religious systems of the world teach we've got to work for God to do something for God, to earn a right standing with God, to be forgiven. We've got to earn our way. That cannot be done. The requirement is perfection. The holy law of God demands a perfect obedience or damnation. And the only one who fulfilled the law and obeyed in death is Jesus Christ. And that's what he came and did. And that's what he accomplished on the cross. It is finished. For those of you that have been raised in some type of religious faith or belief, that do not know the Lord, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Come, let us reason together, declares the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. The Lord Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never hunger. He who believes in me will never thirst. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. The Lord Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end, the one who is, and the one who was, and is to come. The Lord Jesus said, I am the door. Anyone who enters by me will be saved and go in and out and find pasture. 
The holy God of Israel said, Look unto me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. There's none besides me, declares the Lord. I am the Lord. That is my name. And I will not give my glory to another, nor my praise to graven images. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no creature hidden from his sight. All things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom he must give an account. Each one will give an account of himself to God. You don't want to meet God as your judge. You don't want to meet God outside of Christ as your judge. You die in your sins. The Bible says you will burn in conscious torment in hellfire. The wicked and the one who knows violence his soul hates upon the wicked will rain coals. Fire and brimstone and a burning wind will be the portion of their cup. The dead will be judged according to their works by the things that are written in the books. Folks, God knows the secrets of our hearts. The Bible says that God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. If the words spoken through angels prove steadfast in every transgression, and disobedience received a just recompense of reward. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he's appointed heir of all things, to whom also he made the worlds, who being the effulgence of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of God, having become so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than A. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Jesus Christ of Nazareth who is the only one who procured redemption and salvation for the souls of his people. And he's on the throne as the sovereign, omnipotent ruler of the universe. And he will come again to execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they've not heard. He says vengeance belongs to God. He will repay the ungodly. He said, the Lord God belong vengeance and recompense. Their foot will slip in two time. The day of their calamity is at hand. The things that come upon them make haste. A friend, God, is so gracious. Israel, he alone stretches out the heavens as a curtain. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. Who brings out their host by number. He calls them all by name. By the greatness of his might and the strength of his power, not one is missing. He calls and he counts the stars, he's numbered the stars, he's named the stars. He knows every hair on your head, every cell on your body. He knows every day you'd exist. He's already fashioned all your days before there was any of them. When you're in your mother's womb, he knits you piece by piece. He made you fearfully and wonderfully made no matter what condition you're in, what color your skin is. You are made by God, created by God, but you're in a fallen condition. Apart from Christ, you're an Adam. And no one can return to God in Adam from the covenant that he broke in the Garden of Eden. We return to God in the last Adam. We are born not by corruptible, we are born again through the incorruptible seed of the Word of God, which lives and abides forever. That's when we come to Christ, you are given His very life. He breathes the breath of life into you, and you become a living soul, alive in Christ. And that is eternal life, begins the moment you're born again. So we come to Jesus, guys, who believe in the Lord Jesus, you'll be saved from sin and hell. We come to Christ. Jesus is God. Jesus came to save sinners. Jesus bore the curse of God on the cross for the sins of His people. Jesus rose again on the day. God bless you. The blessed, you, the blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So if you don't know the Lord today, the Lord Jesus Christ is the eternal Son of God. He made the world. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. He is one God, one being with three distinct persons. And they all have a perfect unison together. Unity. And we are united with them in Christ. Run to Christ, we all run to Long God. suffering and salvation, don't despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long suffering, not knowing the goodness of God, leads you to repentance. For those who are hardened and impenitent in heart, 
They are treasuring up themselves wrath, ready to be revealed in the day of wrath, and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Everyone needs Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, you have nothing at all. The only thing that awaits you is the wrath of God to be fully executed upon you eternally in the lake of fire. God will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. This is eternal life, ladies and gentlemen. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. The Son of Man was sent into the world, ordained by the Father before the foundation of the world, to do the will of the Father, to save his people from their sins, to procure their salvation, to obtain their eternal redemption through the blood of the cross. It's the blood of, the, with the blood of Jesus Christ that will cleanse the conscience from dead works to serve the living and true God. The Lord Jesus suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, the innocent for the guilty, to bring us to God. You can know him now. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. To him who works, the wages are not counted as grace but as debt. To him who does not work but believes on him, who justifies the ungodly, your faith will be accounted for righteousness. You see, friend, when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. When the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of the woman, born of a woman, made under the law to redeem those who are under the law that they may receive the adoption as sons. When one, when one, when one turns to Christ, the veil is taken away. We are brought into a living relationship with the living God. We are brought into saving knowledge of Christ to never come into judgment, to pass from death to life. Jesus said, oh, he sent me to open your eyes, to turn you from darkness to life, and the power of Satan to God. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. It is, it is appointed for men once to die, but after this is the judgment. Jesus said, enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the of destruction. Would you consider your ways today? Have you come to the Lord Jesus Christ and repents in faith? Has he saved you from your sins? If not, don't harden your heart today. Jesus is the gift of God. Jesus is the way to God, to be restored to God. No religion, nothing you can do in and of yourselves. You have no virtue, no merit, you have no righteousness. It's only through faith in Christ that you can be accounted righteous before God. That is a gift of repentance, the gift of faith, the gift of God is eternal life. What do you have that you have not received? A man can receive nothing unless it's been given to him from heaven. All that the Father has given to me will come to me, and he who comes to me I will in no wise cast out. So we come to Christ, when one turns to Christ to be reckoned that God turns him from darkness to light, and the power is written to God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the God the Father except through the Lord Jesus. So if you haven't, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ today, you've got to believe on Christ. God is commanding you personally to repent and believe this gospel today. Some of you from many different nations here today. And you never heard this gospel. That Christ died for sinners. And through faith in him, it will be accounted you for right. You'll get, you'll get credited with all that he did. And you'll never come under judgment. Don't try to earn your own forgiveness or right standing before God. Just surrender all to Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be sinned. You're lying to these people. He's lying to you. God's love is not unconditional for every human being in the world. It's only those who are in Christ. He worships a false God. He worships a false Christ. And you are blaspheming the Lord and lying to these precious people that need to hear the truth about God. The God of the Bible is a holy God, and we have offended him by breaking his holy commandments. That's why you need a mediator. You need a substitute who would do the will of God. You haven't done the will of God. You've done evil. Yeah, what are those who call evil good and good evil? Friend, you see the, the perversion of the gospel. And that's another loving warning from a holy God to you to repent. Abide in the Word. Yes, you need the Bible. Get in the Word. I love the Word, dude. You don't love the Word. You hate the Word. You just despise the Word. You blaspheme the Word by preaching a different gospel. We hate that guy. Just kidding. We love everybody. Yeah, well, you want to be a false love, your false unity, your false peace. You're promoting the Antichrist agenda. You're promoting the ecumenical agenda. You're promoting every false way, and that's an abomination to the Lord. God's love is eternal in Christ Jesus. You must come.
through Christ to get to God, and it is only by the grace of God to be redeemed and restored to God. Otherwise, you're under the judgment of God. And you're condemned if you have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Uh, praise the Lord. How many came over here? He's lying to you directly. Blaspheming God. Make sure you get alone. You got to get with God. Okay, you get